what amazes you the most about Africa? What is it about Africa that thrills you the most? It's a very cold day out here in Bamenda, Cameroon, and I'm somewhere very green. I'm really liking it. I'm liking it all around me. It's just green, green. There is their farms and trees and more farms. Yep, and that's Africa. Welcome to Africa. So, what is it about Africa that you love the most? What is it about Africa that thrills you the most? I was going through some stuff and I found this amazing stuff Africans around the continent do. Who does this to a face? Like a child is that young and then they have to cut into the face to create so many mats. And usually they represented um, the stitches in the society. Sometimes they represented where you're coming from and sometimes it was a manner of communication, what you've achieved in life. And that's just wow. Secondly, lip disc hmm lip disc you get a hole into your lower lip and then you start inserting disc from one side to the other until you get a disc as large as this in your lip i can't get over this i'm not getting over this one third ear disc the same thing as a lip disc now this is less scary like i think i can get over this and it's amazing it's amazing how large this can go you know what really thrills me about this is your skin can stretch that much and well you must have this question at the back of your mind this is the question I have how do these people eat um basically they don't wear this every day yeah so um they take it off they wear it the women wore this only when um, their suitors were around and um, on particular occasions but on every day you won't see them in that but you obviously see the lip skin dropping and that's not cool yeah not cool at all moving on to the next the red clay hairdos of the himbai women so these women put together red clay ochre fats mix it up in a bowl and then they do locks up with their hair and then you will get something looking like this like wow now I heard that they, they do use Indian hair in it sometimes and I'm like, okay, um, like they buy the hair, um, they have to go through all of this just to get this hair done. Yeah, they do have to go through all of that. And lastly, body painting. Now this is just amazing because the art is, wow, sometimes the painting is so, the paintings are so intricate and that's what really amazes me about it. It's not as scary as lip, as lip disc or scarification because you can just paint and leave it out and leave it there and take it off. In a lot of African traditions, there is body and face painting. And there are these kids of the Omo River, they call them so. It is so amazing what they do with the flowers on their hair and the flowers in, you know, in their ears. All of that is so beautiful. 